Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. And yeah, we're gonna be playing on the Area of Scavengers map. But not just the Area of Scavengers map, but the Area of Scavengers 2 map. Yeah, okay. But yeah, this is the maneuvers mode, of course. I love maneuvers. You, you should probably take a moment to look at the cringe base setup right now. Notice anything different? Pretty cringe if you ask me, don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. That is some... Cringy base deployment right there. I uh, the cringe level is so high, but of course my barracks are. Uh, I can self destruct them whenever I want. But dang, you can't destroy a power plant if you want. That's three hundred resources along with uh, one hundred and fifty power points gone. So yeah, that is cringe. Okay, but let's look at what our opponent doing is doing. Okay. Three supply centers. I think he's upgrading to HQ2. Getting assault vehicle factory out. He's got assaults here. Pretty good scouting. I'm also doing some decent scouting. Okay, getting the flags out fast. Hmm. Okay, trying to get back the flags I lost, of course, because since it is a maneuvers map, we do need the flags uh, if we want extra resources to gain the advantage over the enemy. Okay, he's scouting with extra assaults over here, and that's why I made coyotes as a backup. Because no one builds sniper towers, let's be honest here. Like, two coyotes do the job better than a sniper tower. And they're like 30 resources cheaper. The only downside is that they take up for CP, but that's besides the point. They're cheaper and good for the early game. And whereas now, where I go for a gun tower and a sniper tower, the reason is because gun towers don't really provide much of a view range. Uh, and sniper towers will give it that view range. So if I put on a common defense boost, uh, my gun tower will not be... Will not... I mean, stop using that extra range because it cannot see the enemy. So, yeah. I mean, I would put an anti-air tower if I wanted view range. But if I put an anti-air tower uh, and, not, and I don't know what the enemy is doing. I mean, he couldn't even go for the vertex. And I just love an anti-air tower sucking up 35 uh, power points. So that's kind of cringe. The only thing sniper towers are good for... Is providing that uh, that view radius for 10 energy points. Uh, a barracks costs 10 energy points, so yeah. Would you rather have a barracks or a sniper tower? Yeah, sniper tower. Okay, so going for jaguars and hawks, getting this point back and falling back. Oh, oh. Vertex. There it is. Vertex. Come on, come on, come on. That's dead. That's dead. Come on, come on, come on. We got good damage, but... It's not max damage, which is cringe. Hmm... Okay, seven supply centers. Okay, okay. Two power plants, some vertex. And boom, another vertex is down. Nice. Now he can fall back for a bit. Looks like he's upgrading to the second level of assault vehicle factory. Uh, right there. And getting that air defense up. I think he's upgrading to provide heavy assaults? Hmm, maybe that's a possibility. Since no one would put their barracks in a cringe position like this. <laughs> I mean, like... Uh, this base deployment is okay. It's 
it's okay. I mean, that airfield placement is pretty cringe, but yeah, let's not judge him by that, because uh, look at that cringe. Don't want to judge other people if you do the same thing, which is, uh, uh, that is pretty cringe. Okay, so I'm going to go for Albatross, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's go for Albatross. I want to show off my beautiful and amazing Albatross. Because I, I just love Albatross. It's so satisfying. Okay, scouting with a, uh, a fortress because he knows I don't have any defense here. But, yeah, I think my gun tower fired. Did my gun tower fire? I think it did. I think it did. Okay. So he knows I'm going for bombers. So with a scout, we can see that he is indeed doing nothing. He's getting HG4 though. So yeah, I think that's where the resources went. Did he surrender though? Imagine if he surrendered, that's cringe. Damn. Okay, well, at this point, he did surrender because uh, you guys saw me cancel my Jaguar production. Uh, and no one cancels Jaguar production in the late game because that is that is ultimate cringe. Uh, you just get wiped down by Zeus if you cancel that. So, yeah, Blue surrendered. I don't know why. He probably got scared of me, uh, of me with those albatross. Those albatross, though. Yeah, all right, okay. Okay, so let's see those albatross. Okay, they're going up. Nice. Wow, that's pretty good damage. I mean, that's four albatross and took like 90, 90 to 95% of the health. Which is amazing, if we just had a 5th Albatross, dang, that would be good. Or if we just used those 4 Albatross, but uh, used on separate runs for more con uh, concentrated fire, that would also be nice. Okay, here comes the extra Albatross, okay. And... Nice HQ down, and airfield down, dang. Okay, is that Vertex coming back? Wow, that Vertex came back. And shot twice. Damn. The Vertex literally went over there to the north side. It literally turned when the Albatross was here. That is some speed and maneuverability, man. And it shot twice. It shot once here and then once there. Dang. Okay, well, uh, it's contract time, of course. And obliteration. Dang. Well, by the looks of it, it looks like he upgraded his supply center armor uh, more than his other administrative buildings. But good game.